G'day everyone, this is Kim Hart. In this video I show you the process of moving from acrylic to oil in the same painting. I get asked a lot about this and recently had a commission that I think is a good example of that technique. So this is a video for the more advanced painters, but if you're not one of them, you can still watch it in full as it might help you fall asleep. So here you see the finished first part of the painting that includes all the main parts and the main structure and composition, all done totally in acrylic. And now you can see me applying a layer of glaze. This is a oil-based glazing gel um, on this occasion with a slight reddish tint. So that's a little bit of alizarin crimson and some Indian yellow. So I apply that, get it all over nice and even. And then with a really nice soft cloth, cotton cloth or a dish cloth, just rub that right back, leaving a little bit of a little bit of colour in the corners and just nice and evenly getting rid of all those brush strokes and, and it just ties the whole thing together. The motive for this painting is a bonsai tree. Well, that's a bit obvious <laughs> because the customer is an Asian lady who wanted one of these in a Kim Hart style. And that's why we've picked some wonderful contemporary Japanese background music for this video. You can find all the artists in the description below. The glazing gel is uh, quite a quick drying medium, but uh, we're going to leave that set overnight and come back tomorrow and attack it with the oils. So here we are on the next day. Don't get fooled by the same shirt. I've got half a dozen of those. But it has to really dry overnight um, to really set. So then you can really get into it with the oils and it's, and it's not going to discolor or move with the terps or anything else. So um, we have to let it dry overnight. My next move is to put in all the darks and the shadows and, and get that tone working. So I sharpen up all the edges and start popping in shadows and I use a real dirty dark color. I actually use a bit of Prussian blue and some burnt sienna and mix that together just to get that dirty dark color. I prefer that rather than black. Um, so yeah, you just work on those shadows and getting all those darks in before we highlight everything.
still on day two, we can actually start enhancing all the bright areas and popping all the highlights on the tree. Um, and you can see where the shadows are, where they've been cast, the light's actually coming on from the other side. So we're just going to start highlighting all those beautiful areas of the actual trees itself.
Now we can create a little bit more detail in the leaves of the tree uh, with the green slightly darker than before. And mind you, this is oil now. And that's it, the darker green. Now we do the same lighter shaded leaves using a nice bright green. And that's it, the lighter leaves.
Now we can move on to the terracotta pot and just start brightening and highlighting those areas. And you can see, you know, the, the shadows on one side, that nice bright highlights on the other. It really starts to build a bit of form and shape and that's it, we're done. And again, a bit more detail with the bright brown along the, the leaves and the twigs and the stems. And just highlight all those beautiful little areas. It really makes it jump out. And that's it. What do you think of the result? Let me know in the comments below. And all that's left is a signature. Another Kim Hart original finished. I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe.